Hey everybody. So um, I want to talk about hoarding and I'm going to jump in with the parable of the three servants. Okay. Um, and this is a NLT version. So again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. The servant who received the five bags of silver began to invest the money and earned five more. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received the one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, the master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used his money. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest, and I have earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. The servant who had received the two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest, and I have earned two more. The master said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I know you were a harsh man and harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here is your money back. But the master replied, You wicked and lazy servant. If you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. Then he ordered, take the money from this servant and give it to the one with the 10 bags of silver. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Now throw this useless servant into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, sometimes... People have heard a version of this where um, instead of it saying the bags of silver, it says talents. And sometimes when we hear the word talents, you know, we think of our skills like talents and skills versus um, actual, you know, bags of money. And the purpose and the principle is still the same. Whether you use your skills or whether you use tangible money to earn more money. The point is, God wants us to take something and double it. He wants us to take something and do something with it. He doesn't want us to bury it and, you know, for us to be like, oh, I, you know, I'm afraid. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to do. No, God wants you to do something. He wants you to take some kind of action and, you know, believe that, his victory is going to be part of the abundance. So thinking that you're not going to be able to multiply something is going against who God is. So I hope that helps. Have a good one, everybody.